Welcome back everybody. I'm going to do a review of this HFS TAR100 pipe fitter. I got it for $33 on Amazon. It's a, I thought it was going to be a pretty good deal. Um, some of the more comparable pipe fitters on Amazon and on, on Amazon were hundreds of dollars. So I thought for $33 bucks we would give this a try. Let's take this take this apart and see what we got. So I've already threaded a few pipes. Um, so it arrives in the case basically like this. Um, as you can see I've used the one inch a few times here. Um, it's got a decent quality head. I mean it's a solid iron. And then the uh, pipe just threads into here, the handle, and then the other handle threads into here, and you have a nice ratcheting pipe threader. I like this, that's easy to use, it's got a nice solid uh, positioning system. Um, what I don't like is this inner ring, this ring is not easy to use or put any of these dies in. Um, I'm not sure which way it really goes, um, but I just put it in like this. And then you can see it's really tough to line that ring up. But we're working on it. No, that's not right. There we go. Um, so I've cut about 10 pipes on this so far. It's difficult to use. Straight out of the box, I noticed it was not threading properly. All I was doing, it was just spinning on the end of the pipe and making a kind of a, a bevel. So it wasn't actually tapering into the pipe. Uh, so I thought mine was defective. It seemed as if the teeth were too close and it just wasn't allowing an actual thread. So. I had to take a screwdriver and take off this ring. Uh, so I, I moved the number four blade. I took it out actually to inspect to see if I could get replacement teeth, uh, but I cannot find replacement teeth. That is one drawback to this. Um, I topped, I hammered the four number four blade in there, so it's not gonna it's not gonna thread properly because it's too close. But I suspect this is what from the from the factory it comes way too close. So I had to take all that off. And then just kind of allow the pieces to move into a better position. And then when, it's, when it seemed like it was actually starting to grip, I put the uh, end cap back on. And after that it just seemed it seemed to be working fine after that. Um, like I've said I've I've cut about ten pipes both sides so I've got about 20 cuts on this machine and it is tough um, I don't know how it compares to real equipment and by real equipment I mean like a brand name like rigid and uh, oh don't you hate it when that happens when you lose a screw Boy, I don't know where that screw went. All right, so I'm going to show you how to how this how easy this is to thread. Easy, difficult, whatever you want to call it. All right, so I've got my threading oil ready to go. I'm 
All right, let's see how that got popped out. That's one thing I don't like about this tool. There we go. I think I may have that handle on backwards. Not the handle, but the head. So I've already broken about three or four teeth on this. And I've only cut 10 pipes. <clears throat> now I was looking for replacement teeth because, I mean, that's a good thing to have if you're gonna continue using this. I have to cut 40 pipes total. And uh, these teeth are not going to last the rest of that. So I was looking into uh, replacement teeth. Uh, instead of having to buy another $33 tool, I cannot find replacement teeth. That must be the four blade. No, that's, yeah, that is, that's the one blade. For some reason, it's sticking out. A little weird. One thing I was going to do was bring my thermometer. Because I noticed this thing heats up so hot, it, it feels like 120 degrees or more when I'm done cutting. Gonna measure it. I was gonna compare that to the the rigid tool that I bought that I have not received yet. I want to know how well this cuts compared to rigid. I'm hoping the rigid tool cuts better because I ordered it. I bought a used one for 111 bucks with new blades on the way. Which is like three times, three to four times the price I paid for this. If I only had two or three pipes cut, maybe even five, I'd, I'd be okay with this too. But. 50 pipes to cut. Okay. Or 40 pipes to cut, anyways. So let's take a quick look in here. See those broken teeth? Probably not. Yes, you can. Um. Got broken teeth on just about every jaw here, um, and I found um, to match factory threads, the, the depth of factory threads. Um, I have to get these teeth lined up, just about even with the surface of the pipe, and then spin it two more times, which is eight of these windows pretty much um, <sighs> got blisters this is from this tool it's lovely okay so that's about level that's what I consider level, and then I gotta spin it two more times. Okay, 
can see already it's, it's, it's knocking some threads off here. Let's, let's take a look at this actually. It's, it's really doing a job on my thread. It's not a smooth cut. Not at all. It's generally about what it takes to resemble a factory thread, I think. Kind of clean up those threads one more time. If I had my thermometer, I'd take a temperature of that because that's that's a hot tool now. Doing a few in a row, and it almost gets to the point where I can't touch it. So one thing I don't like about this tool is the chips will bind in here like that, and I can't get the tool off. Knock it off. So that's definitely not a clean thread. But it works. Um, then the flange right now sits about the same distance as on a factory thread. And I get about the same amount of turns off of a six-way fitting. On a factory thread. It's one, two, three, four and a half. Yeah, that's about the same distance as on a factory thread. It's a lot of work. Um, let's review this tool. So, like I said, I cut about ten. I guess that's ten and a half now, ten and a half pipes. And if you look in here, you'll see all those broken teeth. Broken teeth on that side. Broken teeth on that side. So I looked into replacement teeth because this is not going to last me much longer. Actually, I'm. These teeth, uh, even before the teeth broke, the threads were doing that. They were stripping out. Um, so this tool is not going to last me longer. I looked into replacement teeth. I cannot find replacement teeth. The only thing I can do right now is buy another tool. Or maybe take, buy a rigid set of teeth and modify it to work. I'm not exactly sure. Um, so that's what I did. I went online and I found a used rigid head with a handle. I used rigid one inch pipe head, threader head, and then uh, I bought some some new blades. So hopefully when I receive it in the mail, uh, the handle and the pipe head are perfectly fine, and the blades are perfectly fine, the teeth are perfectly fine. Uh, but uh, worst case scenario, I'll just replace the teeth as well and then get a nice new tool. And I'm going to actually compare that 
rigid tool once it arrives to how well this Harper, this uh, Amazon tool works. That's my review for today. Okay, so it's been a week since I did my last video here. Um, a few things have happened. I've uh, I've contacted a seller of this tool and I've asked them what I can do about these broken teeth. Um, they said uh, they do make the teeth, but they don't sell the teeth. So once these teeth break, pretty much uh, it's it's a garbage tool. So this tool I wouldn't recommend for um, black pipe. Uh, you might get a dozen uses out of it. Plastic might be good. I imagine you could keep going with plastic, but uh, I mean, I've used this tool a few times since my last view and I've broken more teeth. I think I've gotten about uh, maybe 15, 20 pipes out of this. And it's looking like garbage. So what I did is I went to eBay. Um, and I bought this. Alright, so I bought from one vendor the ratcheting handle, the ratcheting head with handle. Another vendor I bought the die. I don't know if that's good. It's called the head, maybe. I bought the head with dies. Um, and, and the description said the dies were good. And another vendor I bought replacement blades, just in case the dies were not good. And as it turns out, when I received this in the mail, um, I couldn't thread because we had two number three dies, no number one die. Um, this is exactly, these are the old ones here. Yes, they are, they're in good shape, yes, but I mean, you can see he gave me a set of dies. Okay, two number threes, no number ones. So as it turned out, I I contacted the vendor and he said he's going to ship me a replacement set of dies so I can get this working. But in the meantime, my other dies arrived, so I put the uh, one to four dies in here, and I'm starting to cut. All right, as you can see, um, there's a difference in size. This is the $33 tool, and this is the $111 tool I bought used. Um, normally, it's a few hundred dollars for this piece, so I figured used is not that bad of a deal. In order to get any kind of a grip in the vise so that it doesn't spin and so that my tool was actually going to thread um, it kind of like grip part of this piece um, and uh, I found out that when I'm threading it it just spins so when it spins I gotta crank it tighter and until it stops spinning um, and then to my disappointment when I took this out, uh, we ended up with a messed up oblong piece of pipe that uh, very dissatisfying. So I went to Zorro and I ordered all these short ones pre-cut, which is going to save me a lot of time, a lot of frustration. All right, so let's let's demonstrate the use of. The $111 tool versus the $33 tool. <clears throat> so one thing I noticed about the $33 tool versus the $111 is that it it's easier to start the threads. See, already it's starting. start with that. Now mind you, I've got quite a few broken teeth on here, so it's a little tougher than new, but it's still about the same amount of force. It's always been difficult from the beginning. Yeah, so it's a bit of a struggle here. It's not impossible, but it's tough. So at this point, I feel like I'm putting a lot of my back into it. 
a lot of my legs. I mean, it's more exhausting than just the arms right at the moment. Okay, so that's, that basically is how far it needs to go. So this, the head of this red string, 132 degrees, just for cutting one pipe. And when I cut more than one in a row, this gets quite a bit hotter. Okay, I'm out of breath. Let's take this off. So this is the cheap $33 tool. And then I get the threads on nice and flush. That's about where it wants to be. Where it needs to be. So this didn't damage the threads quite as bad as it normally does. Um, usually it looks worse. But even from new, it was doing it was making threads very similar to this. Um, not exactly the cleanest. Uh, granted, I do have broken teeth. But like I said, from new, it was doing very similar threads. Let's check out the $111 tool. Okay. So one thing I did notice is takes a little bit longer to start it. A little more pressure. Okay. There we go. Okay, actually it's gripping pretty good here. That was taking a little more than that the couple times before. Now these are with brand new blades. I've only cut about two pipes on it so far. This hasn't even gotten difficult yet. I mean, not compared to the other one. I feel like I need to be breaking those chips every quarter turn. Probably go a half a turn. Actually, this. Yeah, it's definitely not what I would consider difficult after using the other one. Okay, so at this point I feel like I'm using my back. I haven't really gotten to the point where I actually feel like I need to use my legs. Now I haven't really... Uh, threaded enough with this tool to figure out how far I gotta go to match factory threads. The other tool I uh, figured once the teeth hit the bottom of the pipe, I just turn it for two more turns or make it flush with the end on the other tool and I've got the perfect length. This one I haven't quite. Figured the, how far it needs to go. But. Yeah, this I wouldn't consider. I mean, this is tough, 
but not as tough as the other one. Was... Yes, I'm, I'm sweating, but not as bad as the other two. Okay, I can see I did just damage one thread there. So the head of this is about 93 degrees. Not bad. Pipe. Looks like it got up to 110 ish. So it's a lot cooler, yeah. Alright, though. Let's, uh, excuse me, I'm a little out of breath. off a lot easier. Now one thing I did notice is I don't know how far <clears throat> that's not going in quite as deep as the other the other one so uh, let me just show you in a second what I can do. Uh, but look at these cuts those are much cleaner I did break I did break one right there I noticed at the end but that's a pretty clean cut compared to this one that's pretty rough it's got much dramatic taper to it Alright, so I still have to figure out how to get this to the point where it installs at the proper space. So in the meantime, I've had to do this. I've taken the $33 tool. I'm just going to clean those threads out a bit. See how it's messed up those threads already. Um, but that screws on to where it, it's where I'm looking to get it. So that's the review of the two tools: uh, the one cheap $33 tool and the used rigid 12R tool with the, the used cutting head. As you can tell, it's a little bit of a sweaty job. Uh, it's a lot easier using the rigid tool versus the the cheaper one, but uh, I got about 20 more pipes to go. And uh, then I can build my desk. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you thought this information was helpful, uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment anything below, share this video, and I've got a little Amazon wish list if you want to buy something for me, help support me, that'd be great. I would appreciate it. I'll give you a little shout out next on the next video. Um, continue watching. I've got a couple other cool videos for you to watch. Thanks.